Hey, I wanted to show you this file, which I think does a pretty good job of showing um, what animation mixing is and, and how it works in Rive. So if I start playing this, you'll see that um, we've got a little stick figure here. Every time I click on it, it changes skin. And you can see down here in the state machine that on every click, a, a new animation is playing in this, in this skin layer. Um, if I actually uh, show the bones here, you can see that uh, we've got this character rigged with bones. Um, so the way this is all working is that um, there's a few layers on the state machine. So if we go over to the first one here called idle, there's just this walk cycle that's looping. Um, if I double click in it, you'll see that, um, and I can hit play here, you'll see that this is just a basic um, walk cycle with a, we've got a work area that's kind of cropping some parts um, at the start and at the end here. And this is a you know simple walk cycle that you could probably build in any animation tool. Um, we've got these bones here that make it a little easier to uh, rig characters and animate them. Um, actually, I'm gonna hide the bones now to uh, make this a little easier to see the artwork. So yeah, this is just a walk cycle. Um, if we go back to the state machine and we look at the skin here and I hit play, you'll see that um, on the skin layer, every time I click, it's moving to a new skin. And all that that's happening here is, um, like if we double click into this one here, is that um, there's a single key for each of these skins. And you can see that we're setting the opacity on zero on, on these two and um, on, on all of them actually, except one. One of, the key, one of the skins is getting 100% opacity and all the others are getting zero. Um, there's nothing else going on on this animation. This is just basically changing um, the visibility of the skin. And then there's one final um, layer here in the state machine, which is called bouncing. And every time that we click on the character, you'll see that it's also got this little bounce effect. And so what that's doing, if we double click into that, is it's just basically scaling X and Y just a little bit. Um, if I select this, uh, this, this group that uh, holds all the character assets, uh, you'll see that its origin is down here, kind of at the bottom. So when it scales up and down, it kind of gets this little bounce from, from the bottom area. The feet look like they stay planted. So this is just like, you know, four really basic keys that are changing the scale um, up and down a little bit. And on their own, all of these animations are actually pretty simple looking, but when you pull it all together and make it, um, make the animations mix and uh, you know tie them to some kind of interactivity like a click in this case that's where you get this really cool interactive um, feel that you just can't get in, in a tool that doesn't have animation mixing um, so that's it this is rive and and this is how animation mixing works in rive and with our state machines